That's right. I'm not done. Let's play something wacky. Let's play something fun. I'm sure that's all fine. Welcome to Planescape Torment. Um, <laughs> this is going to be like uh, Baldur's Gate, but way shorter. Um, Torment just isn't that long of a game. If you know what you're doing, I do. For the most part. I might explore a little, of course. But this is going to play... This is going to play a whole lot more like reading a book. <laughs> so... If you don't like listening to me talk, this is not going to be the one for you. All right. Let's start a new life. First things first. That cutscene, that's fine. I'm sure that guy's fine. You know, dead, waking up. All that seems like totally, what's the word I'm looking for? Well adjusted. Yeah, he's a very well adjusted guy. But um, even the options are 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 wild we've got we don't have options we have alter senses we don't have quit we have the abyss we don't have load we don't have resume we don't have start a new game we have new life select life resume life let's start a new life huh okay so we're this guy i can handle that your strength is average uh uh, right. Let's look at these scores and see what they do. Strength. The ability score represents your raw strength. The high strength allows you to carry more weight and makes you mo makes your melee attacks more accurate and more damaging. I'm not going to worry about having a high strength. Um, if ever there's a... If, 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 if certain obstacles can be uh, thwarted by our strength. But um, if we have someone else in our party who is stronger than us, we can just ask them to do it. Um, so I'm not too worried about strength. Dexterity. This ability score represents your agility, reflexes, and hand-eye coordination. A high dexterity makes you harder to hit and aids your thief skills. I'm not so much in the thieving business. Uh, there's a certain thief you can hire in the game, and I'd rather let them do the heavy lifting. Or the light lifting, as the case may be, but still. I'm going to rate that to 10. Intelligence. This ability score represents your memory, reasoning, and deductive skills. A high intelligence helps you regain memories faster gives you more dialogue options, and it helps your mage skills. You guessed it. We will be a wizard, for the most part. Charisma. This ability score represents your persuasiveness, personal magnetism, and the ability to lead. The higher your charisma, the more favorably others will react towards you. Your charisma is average. This ability uh, represents your physique, hardiness, and state of health. A high constitution will give you more hit points, and in the Nameless One's case, a faster regeneration rate as well. Wisdom. This ability score represents your intuition, common sense, and willpower. A high wisdom helps you recall memories and gives you a bonus to the experience points you gain. So, normally when in Baldur's Gate, if you completed a quest, uh, everybody would get the quest's XP. 
Uh, not in Planescape Torment. The, those with the greater wisdom will get the the greater share of the of the experience points. So having a high wisdom will give the nameless one more of them. Oh, we are simply the nameless one. We can't add a name. We don't have a name. Feels like that's important. Uh, I'm gonna go for big wisdom. Um, because uh, this is the nameless one show. <laughs> Everyone else is just kind of hanging out. Um. Oh God, no! Don't spill my cards all over the all over the keyboard. Yeah, our our personal. So so getting more experience points gives us more stat points. Uh, because um reasons I'll explain it later. Um, so. I want big wisdom to get big XP, to get big intelligence, to get big XP, to get big intelligence. Uh, so hell, let's go. Let's go for very high wisdom, and very high intelligence, very high charisma, and some constitution points too, so we don't die. So we don't fall over and die immediately. Uh, but for the most part, especially during the early game, we are gonna have a very hard time getting by. But there will come a day, maybe it will be tomorrow, where we will blow the shit out of everything. We will see. Let's begin. Hey, Chief. You okay? You playing corpse or you putting the blinds on the dusties? <laughs> I thought you were a debtor for sure. Who are you? Uh, who am I? Well, how about you, Star? Who are you? I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember your name? <laughs> well, next time you spend a night in the bur in this burg, go easy on the bub. Name's Mort. I'm trapped in here, too. Trapped? Yeah, since you haven't had uh, time to get your legs yet, here's the chain. I've tried all the doors, and this room's locked tighter than a chastity belt. We're locked in? Where? What is this place? It's called the Mortuary. It's a big black structure with all the architectural charm of a pregnant spider. The Mortuary. Am I dead? Not for where I'm, where I'm standing. You got scars aplenty, though. Looks like some Burke painted you with a knife. All the more reason to give this place the laugh before whoever carved you up back comes back to finish the job. Scars. How bad are they? Well, the carvings on your chest aren't too bad, but the ones on your back? Mort pauses. Say, looks like you got a whole tattoo gallery on your back, Chief. Spells out something. Tattoos on my back? What do they say? <laughs> looks like you come with directions. Let's see. It starts with... I know you feel like you've been drinking for a few kegs of Styx wash, but you need to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal. That'll shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farod can fill you in on the rest of the chant if he's not in the dead book already. Farod. Does it say anything else? Yeah, there's a bit more. Let's see. It goes on. Don't lose the journal or we'll be up the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you. If they'll put you on the or they'll put you on the quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you. Read the journal, then find Farod. No wonder my back hurts. There's a damn novel written there. As for that journal, I'm supposed to have it with me. Was there one with me when I was lying here? No, you were stripped of the skins when you got when you showed up. Besides, looks like you got enough of a journal penned on your body. What about Farod? Do you know him? Nobody I know, but then again, I don't know many people. Still, some Burke's got to know uh, where to find Farod once we get out of here, that is. How do we get out of here? Well, all the doors are locked, so we'll need the key. Chances are one of the walking corpses in this room has it. Walking corpses. Yeah, the mortuary keeps, uh, keepers use dead bodies as cheap labor. The corpses are dumb as stones, but they're harmless. They won't attack you unless you attack them first. Is there some other way? I don't want to kill them just for the key. What? You think it's going to hurt their feelings? They're dead. But if you want a bright side to this, if you kill them, at least they'll have a, reset, a rest before the keepers raise them up to work again. Well... All right, I'll do what it takes to get the key. Before you do that, arm yourself first. 
I think there's a scalpel on one of the shelves around here. Search the shelves in the room for a weapon to attack a zombie with. When you find one, go to the inventory screen and arm yourself. If you wish to examine any items you find, right click them. All right, I'll look for one. Oh, and one last thing. Those corpses are slow as molasses, but getting punched by one of them is like being kissed by a battering ram. If they start getting an edge on you, remember you can run and they can't. Use it to keep some distance if you need to recover. Thanks. Thanks for the advice. Alrighty then. I'm gone. Well, this is the two of us. As usual, holding tab shows us what we can look at and what we can look in. This lab is covered with dried blood and other remains. Bandages. Those seem useful, I bet. 50 pound weight allowance. Oh, I feel like I made a mistake. Eyeball? This is your eye. It looks like it's seen better days. Uh, this is a roll of bandages. Useful for staunching minor wounds. Okay. They heal three hit points. Something tells me that's not going to go very far. All right. So these need a key. Alright, I got a scalpel. It's something. One to three piercing damage. Not usable by priests. A simple surgical cutting tool. Looks like it's seen a lot of use. <laughs> this does not seem so good. Um, can I look at my statistics screen? I have a Thacko of 18. That's not good. That's very bad. Even though I'm a level 3 fighter. My alignment is true neutral. Fair enough. I don't feel like I know enough to make moral judgments on anything. I have three unused weapon proficiencies. But they're split between fist and edged weapons. My reaction bonus is plus three, so people are going to be pretty well disposed to me, which I like. That sounds good. And my lore score is pretty good, too, so I'm going to be not as bad as other characters at, examine, at identifying things I look at. All right, you found the scalpel. Now get those corpses, and don't worry, I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. Maybe you could help me, Mort. I will be helping you. Good advice is hard to come by. I meant help in attacking the corpses. Me? I'm a romantic, not a soldier. I just get in the way. Um, when I attack this corpse, you better be right there with me, or you'll be the next thing I plunge this scalpel into. <laughs> All right, I'll help. I'm glad we understand each other. Time to introduce these corpses to the second death, then. Yes, let's. Then again, that might not be necessary. Right, that's my inventory. The shambling corpse looks like it's been dead for several years. The skin along its forehead is peeled back, revealing its chalk-white skull. Someone has chiseled the number 569 into the exposed bone. I'm looking for a key. Do you have one? Chief, they can't hear you. They're dead. But you're dead. And you're talking to me. Yeah, but I'm special. Death couldn't kill my zest for life. These corpses here, they probably didn't have much personality to begin with. I see. Look, Chief, watching you trying to swap the chant with these corpses isn't doing much for my morale. Let's leave the corpse talking for the barmies, all right? All right, then. Yes, let's go. Examine the corpse. See if it's carrying the key. This corpse doesn't appear to be carrying a key. And it doesn't look like it would be able to use one if it did. Its fingers are all broken, as if someone smashed them with a hammer. You do happen to notice that its left shoulder is heavily bandaged. The bandages might be usable if the corpse was disposed of first. Um, it was great. L leave the corpse in peace. No reason to talk to it. It can't talk back. It's a true zombie. This corpse's head lolls back and forth on its shoulders. Judging from the angle of the neck, it looks like this man may have been hanged. The number 825 has been painted on the side of its head. And you're carrying the key. This corpse is carrying nothing, but you happen to notice its hands are heavily bandaged. The bandages might be usable if the corpse was disposed of first. Huh. Well, killing these zombies sounds really cool, but... I feel like I'm going to lose more hit points than I'm going to gain from, from picking up all the bandages. Are you carrying the key? This corpse looks like the one with the key. It's holding it tightly in its left hand, its thumb and forefinger locked around it in a death grip. It looks like you'll need to hack the corpse's hand off to free the key. Uh, okay. Good done. 
Okay. All right. I feel like there's I'm an on. alternative to that, but we are probably just not capable enough to do it. It feels like uh, there's a dexterity check. I feel like a, a dexterity check would allow us to get the key out, or maybe a strength check to like unfurl the fingers, but we are not good enough at any of that in order to do what we want to do. Psst, some advice, Chief? I'd keep it quiet from here on. No need to put any more corpses in the dead book than necessary, especially the fangs. Plus, <laughs> killing them might draw the caretakers. I don't think you mentioned it before. Caretakers? They call themselves the Dust Men. You can't miss them. They have an obsession with black and rigor mortis of the face. They're an adult bunch of ghoulish death worshippers. They believe everybody should die, sooner better than later. I'm confused. Why do these Dust Men care if I escape? Weren't you listening? I said the Dusties believe everybody's got to die, sooner better than later. You think the corpses you've seen are happier in the dead book than out of it? Um... The corpses I've seen here, where did they all come from? Death visits the plains every day, Chief. These shamblers are all that's left of the poor sods who sold their bodies to the caretakers after they died. Before you said something about making sure I didn't kill any female corpses. Why? Why? Are you serious? Look, Chief, these dead chits are the last chance for a couple of hardy bashers like us. We need to be chivalrous. No hacking them up for keys, no lopping their limbs off, nothing like that. Last chance. What are you talking about? Chief, they're dead. We're dead? You see where I'm going here? You can't be serious. Chief, we already got an opening line with these limping ladies. We've all died at least once. We'll have something to talk about. They'll appreciate men with our kind of death experience. Wait, didn't you say before that I'm not dead? Well, all right, you might not be dead, but I am. And from where I'm standing, I wouldn't mind sharing a coffin with some of these fine sinewy cadavers here. Mort starts clacking his teeth as if in anticipation. Of course, though, the caretakers would have to part with them first, and that's not very likely. Uh, all right, I'll try to remember that. Look, Chief, it's obvious you're still a little addled after your kiss with death, so I got two bits of advice for you. One, if you got questions, ask me, all right? To speak to a party member, select the talk option, and then left-click on the party member you want to speak to. All right, if I have any questions, I'll ask. Second, if you're half as forgetful as you seem to be, start writing stuff down. Whenever you come across something that might be important, jot it down so you don't forget. If I had that journal I was supposed to have with me, I'd do that. Start a new one then, Chief. No loss. There's plenty of parchment and ink around here to last. It couldn't hurt. I'll start a new one then. Use it to keep track of your movements. If you ever start to get cloudy on important things, like who you are, or more importantly, who I am, use it to refresh your memory. All right, let's go. Updated my journal. Uh, prepare to hear that noise a lot. Find Farad. Find your missing journal. The shambling corpse gazes at you with the vacant eyes. Her skin is paper thin, almost wispy. It's like someone draped a sheet of cobwebs across their frame. The number 594 has been scrawled onto her forehead with charcoal. Psst. You see the way she was looking at me? You see that? The way she was following the curve of my exhibitable bone? What are you talking about? You mean that blank eyed beyond the grave stare? Are you blind? She's scouting me out, man. It was shameless the way she wants me. I think you're imagining things. She's a zombie, a corpse, a dead person. Probably didn't even register to her senses. Yeah, yeah, whatever. When you've been dead as long as I have, you know the signals. They may be too subtle for you to pick up, but that's why I'll be spending my nights with some luscious recently dead chit while you're standing around going, Huh? What's going on? Where's my m memories? <laughs> whatever, Mort. Let's go. Oh, we can also look at Mort's stats. Mort has teeth. Proficiency, fists. Don't ask. Mort's bite is lethal, and he can masticate someone to death. As long as his quick weapon slots are not all filled, Mort can always select bite as his current weapon. Um, Mort's got a lot of resistances being a floating skull and all. His armor class is quite good. Good con, good dex, mediocre strength, mediocre intelligence, not very wise. And not very charismatic. 
two fist proficiency. A weight allowance of 90. A weight allowance of 90? Whatever. Um, and that's all. Information. Okay. Biography? Of course you got questions about me. You probably have all sorts of questions uh, about things. Let me boil it down for you. When you've been as dead as long as I have, without arms, legs, or anything else, you spend a lot of time thinking, you know? I figure it's been a few hundred years since I got penned in the dead book, but time doesn't really tally up the way it used to without that mortality thing pressing down on you. All the days and nights kind of blend together. So you think about this, and you think about that, and the most important piece of wisdom I've learned over the past hundred years or so is this. There's a lot more obscene gestures you can make with, the, with your eyes and your jaw than most people think. Without even resorting to insults or taunting, you can really light a bonfire under someone just with the right combination of eye movements and jaw clicking. Drives them barmy. If you ever get beheaded and your skin flay from your skull, I'll show you how it's done. I got some real gems, Chief. They, they'd drive a diva to murder, they would. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm dead. I've lost so much. I should have sobered. How long is this? It should have sobered me up to all the joy that I missed, all those loves that I've lost. Some people get all depressed about death. They, have, they haven't tried it. Of course, but one thing they never seem to realize is how it changes your sp perspective on things. It really makes you take a second look at life, broaden your horizons. For me, it's pretty much made me realize how many dead shits are in this burg and how few sharp-tongued men like myself there are to go around. You spin the wheel right, your, your years of spending nights alone are over. Shallow? No, I'm not shallow. I just don't get caught up in that philosophy and faith and belief wash that every burg from Arborea to the Grey Wastes rattle their jaws about. Who cares? The planes are what they are. You're what you are. And if it changes, fine. But things aren't bad the way they are. And I should know. Go on. Ask me some questions about the planes, or the chant, or the people, or the cultures. When you end up like me, without eyelids, that is, you end up seeing a lot of things. And I can tell you almost everything you need to know. It's like this. We're in this together, Chief. Until this is over, I stick like your leg. Alrighty then. So we woke up on the slab, amnesia, classic, and we've made a friend, hopefully, a friend. Hmm. 